All right, we're back, guys. Just borrowing a Nissan dealer's parking lot to gear up. We are about a mile, if that, from our next ride. It's called the Azello Trail. It's uh, up by, what's it called? Homosasa Springs, here in beautiful 74 degree Florida. I don't know how this ride's gonna be, guys. It could be unimpressive, it could be phenomenal. It's less than 10 miles long. I rode a long way to get up here and ride this ride. It better be freaking amazing because on the way here, I had the best ride of the trip so far. Just in the way Waze routed me to get from where I grabbed a burger to get on the road back up here. I mean, just figures, you know? Not hooked up with anything, not prepared, and I discovered the best ride yet. This is just nuts. Nine point two miles. I think it's like a national park, state park, something like that. Here it is. See, it has potential. Could be really pretty. That's the first waypoint on the ride. Forty-five miles. Got a little chip in my windshield. It's not good. Yeah, I guess if someone wanted to come down here on a sport bike and zip through it, it would be fun. I don't know. It's very lush, tropical looking. Signs are yelling at me to slow down. My guess is lots of people speed here. Oh, that looks like a traffic camera ticket. Oh, it's just a speed sign. I guess we don't have to worry about slowing down. That's pretty. See any gators? Let me know. Oh, no gators. I mean, this is pretty. It's really. It's really nice out here. You know, and now I feel like I'm I'm looking at something that's unique. The the 
70 mile ride earlier today was, you know, could have been anywhere really. This looks different. I like it. Visually spectacular. If the road itself leaves plenty to be desired, which is fine. Not every road is phenomenal. Halfway through, just about. Kind of reminds me of Point Lookout State Park ride I filmed a while ago, not too long ago, I should say. Just that you're on a, you know, a narrow lane road, heading out the middle of what seems like nowhere, kind of watery, beachy. It's cool. Is that a gator? No, it's a stick. I'm trying, guys. I'm trying to find a gator. I thought I saw a gator. I saw something bumpy sticking out of the water, but that could be anything. It's pretty for sure. I, I, I would assume riders like to come down here for the, the twisties when they don't have traffic in front of them. It's a nice little road. It's cute. Cute little town. Tiki bar, that's what you need. You need a tiki bar with alligator feeding time.
2.3 miles to go. gators yet. Ooh, 10 mile an hour curve, huh? Interesting. in a 10 mile an hour curve. I've been on 10 mile an hour curves. That one made... <laughs> pavement. That was a dead alligator. Nope. Oh no, that's really pretty. Look at that. We're getting some picture time in here, fellas. Gorgeous. Oh my gosh. going to go back across the bridge and park there and take some pictures. It's just 
just so pretty. Well, guys, that was the Ozello Trail, the number one most popular ride in the state of Florida. I can see why. If you had this road to yourself with no traffic in front of you, you could zip through here. There are 10, 20 mile an hour twisties. Some pretty sharp curves here. It's beautiful, absolutely beautiful, but it's only 10 miles. And... Yeah, it's absolutely gorgeous, but it's only, it's not even 10 miles. It's 9.2 miles long. Thinks, I think Florida could do better. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you guys. It was okay. I don't know that I would have ridden 100 miles up here, which is basically what I've been traveling up north over today just for this ride. But I wanted to ride the top five rides in the state of Florida according to MotorcycleRoads.com, and I've done four of the five. So I'm going to get out of here and head back to my hotel because we have to get up super early in the morning and head to Naples, which is quite a way south, so that we can then head way south to the Keys. All right, guys, uh, if you enjoyed this video, I'd certainly appreciate it if you'd give it a thumbs up. I put my ride, ride-related content up every Friday, so hit that subscribe button, click that notification bell, and you'll get an alert when my new videos are up. Until next time, stay safe out there, and I'll catch you later.